Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your mid-October to November read of this current year. Check it out. Bam. First off, it's got skulls. Ain't it fucking rad, right? And second off, um, this is the Dark Mirror Oracle deck. Someone sent this to me. I'm really happy. I'm going to start using this as your themes and vibrations for your readings. And so far, it's been mighty successful. So you are next, Scorpio. Scorpios and cross watchers, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. For it's just a card game. Just boop your nose and away it goes, right? Right. If you want a personal read after this, my information is in the description box below after the channel background music list that I leave for y'all to enjoy. Right. Newcomers, first readings on the house, everything else after comes with a price. And I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Alright. Scorpio. Queen of my world. Look at all that red. That is totally y'all. <laughs> Queen of my world, number 24. Let's see. It's 28. Okay. Queen of my world, the moon phase is full, and the stage is bargain. Much like the five stages of death or grief, this is the stage of bargaining. I set limits to my world. Inside I am queen, and outside is lost. The visual seed is on a snowy background. White columns rise through the forest. A pale woman dressed in scarlet bright red with a crown of thorns and a white luminous lance strides forward, her posture confident and her feet bare. Her sentence is, I am my world and my world is me. I am royalty. Nice. Going dark, there is a space out and a space in. There is my realm and what is mine, and there are other places. I will not care if my world is made of thorns and ice, and if it's carved by my blood. My world is my world. I rule. I decide his borders, and I am his law. I am his princess. I am the blood in the veins of its heart. I am the warrior and the bride. I am alone, and I am first among many. Be fearful of my world, because it's paved of my hopes and dreams. And you have no power there. I am greater than the stars, and more beautiful than the moon. And I, da, 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 I was thinking about doing that Lord of the Rings quote with like the Lady of the Woods, but like I totally fucked it up. I almost threw that in there because I would have been good with it. But yeah, that's your vibration, Scorpio. Ooh, look at your energy, man. Queen of your world. Well, she looks like she could be a Scorpio with all that shit. But yeah, that's what we're doing for you, Scorpio. Yeah, let's see what the rest of your mighty fucking cards say. Yes, yes. All right, so what do we got for you first? There's a judgment call, and it's not a good one. Or something was decided not to be resurrected on. And Scorpio, there's just something you just can't let die yourself. Either something isn't getting resurrected, or somebody had a bad idea about something, but Scorpio, you're just not ready to let that die yet. You're not ready to crush its head. It's just like, but I have so many memories. Mm. Such good ones, too. Let's see. Now, ah, you go back there. Not bad. Your thoughts and feelings, you want to come back in from the cold. You're tired of being out there. You want to get warmed back up again. And the root of that is because you've been alone for a while. You've been hanging out. You've been hiding. You've been chilling with a dead fish. And that's the only person who doesn't give you shit about the world you're in, you know? Um, it feels like you can't get any rest in this at all. You feel like there was an opportunity missed by your hands and your hands alone, and now there's a little bit of regret with it as well. And Scorpio. <laughs> Either you, or you're dealing with another water sign who's coming up posing a little bit, and I don't like it. Like, I don't like that at all. Like, I really don't like that. It's like, uh... Mmm... I don't think that's you, Scorpio, to be honest. What do I know? I'm just an asshole on the internet. Anyway, Queen of Me World. It's about bargaining. Hmm. 
Let's see. So this judgment call reverse, Scorpio. Mm. What's that all about? I didn't, I didn't even be on the floor. Um, there's something that, like, you want some truth about, but you're still not getting anything. Like, every time you see a bird with a wreath, it's just like, is this the one? And then you figure out that, like, the wreath is actually a fireball, so you gotta kill it. You don't know if this eagle right here is actually coming with a wreath of peace or a wreath that's a trap. One of the two. Because this is your world. Anything outside of your world is a danger. You know, trying anything to avoid the tower moment between you and them, I feel like. Um, yeah, there are some Bettys, and someone's trying to choose the main Betty. You are the black-haired Betty. You are the queen of your world, Scorpio. Either you or your person, you and Crosswatchers, that is. Alright, Scorpio and Crosswatchers, why do you have death reversed down here and below? Right? Uh, you're still kind of waiting on somebody who you know is probably not coming back. And if they do come back... I feel like you're going to be wondering what the fuck. Because um, they were kind of full of some injustice. They have justice reversed some bad karma. And it almost feels like... Scorpio and Crosswatchers, it almost feels like this bad karma was meant to keep you stuck in an endless cycle. An endless loop. It's like they'll only come back when they think that like they can penetrate your world. But you're the queen of that world. You only let people in if they post... Particularly, we do not allow text posts here. It has to be in meme format or you will be banned, you know? Like, you got that energy, you're like, this is my shit. Like, you will follow the rules or you will get the fuck out, you know? Like, you got that kind of shit going on with you. Oh, that's the wrong deck. Shit. Okay, Scorpio. What's up next? Oh, well, there's three. Well, yeah, th this shit doesn't seem like it's going to end anytime soon. They want you to be a pet in the worst way possible, and somehow that information's going to fly to your fucking ears. It hasn't flown yet. That bird is ready. That dude is just like, I will pull this off this bird right now. He will fly straight to a Kentucky Fried Chicken, tell them, Squaw, I'm free, bitches, what about you? And then, like, fly off. Like, he'll let people know. He will let people know, you know? Down below, though, like, it feels like someone's floundered their emotions, dropped the fish right back in the goddamn ocean. Be like, fuck! It took me, like, two hours to find that shit. You know? Finding themselves not being as victorious as what they think. Mm. Scorpio? I feel like... Even if you were... To try to invite this person into, you know, your little world, your little theme or whatever. They would make you feel like a fucking loser. For what you think, what you feel, why you keep things to yourself to begin with, which is like, you know, oh, I, don't, I don't tell people shit like this because they give me bullshit like you're doing right now. You know, you got that kind of feeling towards you a little bit. And they make you feel like you fucked up by even giving them a little bit of emotion. Because then they're just like, no, I'm taking this fucking crown away from you. you fucking loser. Get on, get. I want a real winner, you know? Like, mm. I feel like you want them a part of your world, but they're not willing to um, accept the world that you've created for yourself. They, it's like they want you to um, succumb and be their pet with this Emperor Reverse. Right? I'm in the thoughts and feelings. Five of Pentacles reversed. You want to come back in from this cold, right? Um, you realize that there is some differences between you and the other person with Temperance card. Despite the fact that you do want to resurrect this shit. Bring it back to life. You might even try to run for that shit, right? But the roots... The thoughts and feelings of that, though, is the Hermit. You've been by yourself for a really long time, I feel like, Scorpio. Or at least kept a lot of shit to yourself. You know, you're going inside and introspect and see how this person made you a fucking villain to everybody else. Caused people to come against you a little bit, too. Um, and you needed to recover from that. That's why you kept to yourself for so long. Created your own world, not let the outside world come in and destroy it. And you know that this person probably is not the best ingredient to your soup of life. Or would, would, would life be a soup or a sandwich? 
Those are important questions to live by, you know. Always keep your brain wondering about shit. Anyway. Clarifying the thoughts and feelings. Oh my god. Ew. Come here. Mm. Yeah, this person just wanted to, like, if you were to come back to this person, they would only take what would be good for them and leave the rest to rot. Like, they only take what they want. They don't care about anything else. Except to um, keep that line open. I mean, if it was a drug deal, they don't, and, and they're supposed to be, if they're your, your, your partner and they got into drugs and then, like, you started drug dealing so they'd have access to those drugs all the time, it's like they only keep an open channel to you. I, like, drugs is a weird thing to um, use to describe this, but it works. Trust me. It's like if you were a drug dealer, right? This person comes around. Like, maybe you guys were together at one point. Maybe you guys were dating while this person was actually um, on the drugs. You started dealing drugs so they have easier access to it because you didn't want your baby to suffer. That's my love. I wouldn't want her to go out on the street. She could do the, her cocaine off a of hooker's ass right in my home, right? That's what I got this house for. It's for my boo. And I will get them whatever. Uh, I'll, get, uh, I'll get them laughing ass. I'll get them ketamine animal tranquilizers, anything for my baby, you know, you kind of went that way, but then after time, you realize they really weren't your baby, they were a completely different animal from you, and then slowly but surely, you realize that they only come when they want the shit, but they'll send word to let you know, hey, I'm waiting for you, I got Netflix and chocolate pudding, you know, you know, that kind of sounds gross, anyway, but that's, I mean, that's the best example I could think, it's like, it, it's almost like someone was with somebody and then they got into drugs Not literally drugs, but it's kind of like that almost addictive thing It's like they're addicted to you because of the access you give them not because of actually yourself, you know down below with the hermit Yeah, it's like you tried to pour your cup out about this person knowing that they're not good for you And it's hard to do that and you want to just let them go you want to uh, drop your cup and let him go, but for some reason that shit will not die, Scorpio. That's driving you crazy. I think that's what's bothering you. You know, Scorpio, you are notorious for walking away and never looking back. You are not known for getting hung up on a bitch or a man or a dude or anything or a fucking turtle or whatever you want to think of it, right? It's very rare that you get caught up in the game, you know. When the hunter becomes the hunted, it's terrible. That's why you ain't getting much rest, right? Oh god, you might actually try to poison come on someone with the Queen of the Cups, but I still don't feel like that's you. At all. So, this Four of Swords up here, any action, because it's like you haven't had enough rest to take the action, but any action you probably take towards this scenario where you learn how this person actually wants you just to be a pet, to get them whatever the fuck they need in their world in comparison to yours, like any action towards them will be a disaster. It'll bring a lot of craziness, a lot of risk, a lot of climaxing, uh, but not in that way, uh-huh. Like, it'll be disastrous to let your guard down. I mean, they, I mean, they would definitely let their guard down, but it's like, after you get back, it's, it's, you're going to be a little bit ragged. You're going to be a little bit ragged and look at everything and be like, hey, well, I found some dogs, so that's not too bad. And Lord, lo and behold, those dogs are what's going to tell you exactly what you should have done, I feel like. With this four of cups reverse right here, missing an opportunity, doing it to yourself. Feeling like, uh, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Especially with this lover's card. It seems like you two are still connecting. For sure. Um, but it's like taking a leap of faith in the dark. You're not even sure if you want to do that entirely. Because you don't want to look more like a fool than what you already do, Scorpio and Crosswatcher. Then this Queen of Cups reverse. I really don't feel like this is you, Scorpio. Very rare I say that shit. <clears throat> this person's got a poison and they're riding in the dark to deliver it somewhere. <clears throat> okay, maybe it is you. Oh. Mm. One more. Yeah. Scorpio.
Okay. Definitely could be Pisces or Cancer involved, or another Scorpio, but I really don't feel like this is you with this poison cup. I feel like... I mean, it could be, but I don't see you trying to poison someone's mistress. Um, I've never seen... I, I, I can't imagine you going down that route. At all. But it's like someone's got a poison cup. They give it to a knight in order to deliver it in the secret of the dark. And then when daytime comes, the battle begins. And it's an excessive battle against this broad right here. This um, mistress, as I like to call her. Because that's my mistress card when she pops up. Like It's like she was discovered or she was brought out, right? Back up top, Scorpio. You're not trying to ca carry anybody else's shit. In fact, you're not even trying to be gentle about that stuff. You're just like, look, no, I'll, I'll stab you right in the back. I'm trying to go do my own shit. You see this lizard? I just got him. He's a color-changing lizard, and he's fucking awesome. I might name that one Karen, too. I haven't decided yet. But it's like, you have a brand new start, and you want to cut out having to carry somebody else's problems. Especially when they aren't even helping to carry their own fucking problems. Like, they're walking ahead of you. You're the one who has to leave your problems at the door and carry theirs. Which I don't think is very fair, you know? Like, and here's the Queen of Cups again all la 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 and mad because there's a fish in her cup. Because somebody dropped the swords and was finally healed and they're not offering anything to her. So no, Scorpio, I don't think that you're the Queen of Cups. I think you're dealing possibly with another water sign. Cross watchers alike, you know? There might be a bug somewhere involved that you weren't aware of either. Keep your ears peeled, right? Let's see. Last row. Yeah, I think this person's coming up with some shit. Mad and stuff. They know you don't want to end things. They know you don't have the energy to, um... They know that, like, you love them or whatever. Like, you're not ready to let these things die. However, you are going to be going into a trance of sorts, I think, and understanding that you're actually going to have to take some leaps and bounds. Or this person will see that um, you're not really over them yet, and they'll come a-running, but the problem is, is that they're the emperor reverse, wanting you to be their pet, Scorpio and Crosswatcher alike. That's the end of your reading, y'all. So... Yay! If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, it's up to you, of course, but, you know, I greatly appreciate it, as always. Um, I hope this helps some of y'all out, if anything at all. I wish you all the best of luck. I love your faces, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.